my first semester of teaching um, at the college level at College of the Redwoods, I actually taught uh, zoology. And that's the study. It's the biology of animals. And so we spent the whole semester like looking at all the different kinds of animals. And it was it was spectacular. <laughs> I was so it was such a fun class to teach because it really was just a celebration of biodiversity and then all the like crazy wild things that animals do and how and why they do them. Um, so I'm just indulging for just a second. Obviously not all living things are animals. Um, the study of plants is botany and um, also like I took a, a plant taxonomy class when I was in college. And I remember the professor coming in and saying, okay, you right now look outside and you see a green blur and all the plant life just sort of blends together and you don't see the individuals. And by the end of this class, you're going to see the individual plant organisms. And it was true. And we did it because we identified all of those plants. Um, but flowers are flashy and fun. But oh, man, especially up here in Northern California, the redwoods, like it's just a plant biodiversity glory scene. And uh, very exciting to be able to actually identify and see the individuals within the the green blur plants yes beautiful flowers lovely single-celled critters this is two different species of single-celled organisms this uh website it's this it's a super cool collection of pictures of individual cells I go there often to look for more cool things to show you, but this is actually one picture in a series of pictures that were captured of, I think the bottom cell is going to eat the top cell. All those little hairy things coming out of them are um, cilia for movement. So those are organelles, cellular organelles that will let the... Um, single-celled critters move around and then you know the bottom one is going to eat the top one which means that the top one is going to become energy that's going to fuel homeostatic processes in the bottom one and likely reproduction um, things like this just make you go like oh it is just grandly incredibly diverse course there is uh, the beauty of living things is is just kind of breathtaking and insects I find um, my son likes to keep them for pets but there's just like such a beautiful I mean just beautiful fungi growing in the moss this is something that we see a lot of up here um, marine environments. If anybody's ever been scuba diving or marine diving, the critters that you can see, it's like going tide pooling under the water, which is just spectacular. Um, if you're lucky, you might even see these marine critters, marine mammals that are existing in that same environment as the previous one. Um, mammal diversity. Here's a little hedgehog. Don't you want to kind of cuddle this little guy? Um, he's probably got a few pokies, but if you don't make him mad, he probably would be a good cuddler. Of course, birds. The bird diversity is phenomenal. Critters living together. We have a anemone living with the fish, the fish taking advantage of the protection of the ane anemone. It's, it is... It's endless and we literally could spend, this does not surprise you, I could spend all day, every day talking <laughs> about the different critters and telling stories about the cool things that they do. In this class, we're gonna spend a lot of time at the very little level. We're starting with chemistry after we get through our science lecture, 
We're going to start looking at chemistry and, and we're going to be really small and it's hard to visualize small things. So keep your eyes on big biodiversity, the critters that you see around you. That's why we're learning about these little processes, because those processes are what keep the organism itself alive. Oh, I'm super happy that you are here with me on this adventure in general biology. Um, and I look forward to, um, well, I don't know who you are, so I don't know if I will hang out with you or maybe I will not hang out with you, but that's okay. Either way, it will be fun. All right. Have a good afternoon.